Hi, it's Cassandra from the CAP University blog, and today I am joined by capping Stratasys support technician, Chris. And Chris, what are you going to be teaching us today? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to replace your tips on the Fortis 250 U-Print and Dimension system. And when do we know that we need to be changing these tips? You'll get an alert in your software, either Catalyst or Insight, uh, that'll tell you the tip wipe and tip shields have to be replaced in 500 hours, and the tip assembly themselves have to be replaced in 2,000 hours. Now, Chris, where um, in the printer or in the software can we actually find the tip time? You can only find the tip times in the software, and the alert will only show up once. Wow, so you either need to make a note of it or tell someone if you're not going to do it right away. When we are replacing these tips, do we need to replace both or one at a time? You need to replace both tips at the same time, and they need to be calibrated. Okay, so why do we need to calibrate them after we've replaced them? We need to calibrate the tips because they've moved the position when you remove them and replace them. So while we're doing the tip change, do you need to reset the tip time? No, it's all part of the tip replacement process. So now that Chris has explained to us why we need to change our tips, it's time for you to show us. These are the tools that you'll need to replace your tips, and they can be found in your startup kit. These are the parts you'll receive when you order your tip replacement kit. The tips themselves are labeled. Your kit will come with two tips, four brush flicker assemblies, and eight tip shields. So the first step is you want to go to your maintenance menu and from there you're going to pick machine. Now the machine will calibrate itself. So next you're going to go into your tip menu and to replace. At this point it will start unloading the materials. You need to loosen the four screws so that the tips can slide out easily. Now you need to slide the tips out. The tip shroud just slides right over the tip. Now you tighten the screws back up. Be careful not to over tighten because you can pinch the tube. And now I'm inserting the model tip. Tighten the screws. So now the machine is going to ask you if your tips have been replaced. You're going to say yes, which resets your tip count. Push your cartridges in until they lock. Go to load both. So now it's going to tell you you need to insert a base, make sure the lock in position, close the door, and you can hit start part. Now it'll run through both calibrations. After you complete the calibrations, you need to remove the tray and you need to check the calibration as it shows in the book. So now you'll enter your findings in on the screen here with X.
and we're done. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to show us how to change tips on the Ford S250 today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. And if you have any questions for Chris or our other Stratus support technicians, feel free to go to the Cap University blog or to capping.com. How would you actually show us? Let me say, okay. <laughs> Feel free to go to the Cap University blog or to capping.com. <laughs>